What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here, and boxings are all fine and good, but what you want to see, and I know I want to see, is how Android looks on a tablet. Let's go ahead and power on the Galaxy Tab and take a first look. So I'll do a very thorough walkthrough of the operating system once I have some chance to play with it and sort of get to know the nuances, but for right now, let's just power this guy on. So, it is running Android 2.2, there's the power button on the side, let's go ahead and see if we have any juice. And it looks like we do, go ahead and peel off the uh, screen protector here. Galaxy Tab, and as that's sort of booting up, uh, I'll review the specs advice in case you haven't seen it. It does have a 7 inch screen with a resolution of 1024 by 600 Again, Android 2.2, running Samsung's 1 GHz A8 Cortex chip. You might have heard that called the Hummingbird. 512 megabytes of RAM, 3 megapixel camera on the back with autofocus and flash. 1.3 megapixel camera on the front. And this will uh, does have actually full flash support. So this looks very familiar uh, Android style. Go ahead and slide to unlock. And uh, looks like stock Android, just larger. Go ahead and sort of scroll through here. It looks sort of ripe for uh, for a launch. We've got some sort of dedicated Samsung things here. So you've got a dedicated daily briefings widget. Uh, this is not running uh, TouchWiz. You can see right there, this is the sort of the GSM version. Uh, there is not a SIM card in there. So this is just uh, running on Wi-Fi. So it will be once I connect to it. Let's go and see what sort of uh, widgets they put on here. We do have one, two, three, four, uh, five home screens by default. Let's see what Samsung put on here. Let's go and jump into widgets. And here's what we're going to have. So AccuWeather Clock, Analog Clock, Calendar, Calendar Clock, Daily Briefing, Feeds and Updates, Google Search, Home, Screen Tips, Latitude Market, News and Weather, Picture Frame. I'll let you guys read the rest of this. Power Control, Program Monitor, Yahoo Finance, and YouTube. Uh, what I'm really curious about here is how Flash is going to work on a device. Uh, the size of whether or not Flash 10.1 uh, is going to be a bit slow or not slow. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this guy to my Wi-Fi network and let's check out how Flash works. All right, so a few points to notice before I go and hook this up to Wi-Fi and show you Flash. Uh, and you go to the applications, you actually do have sort of a touch whiz looking away that the icons are shown here. They're sort of encapsulated on their own. You go ahead and you can sort of scroll through uh, horizontally to see those. Of course, it does have an accelerometer. It looks to be extremely responsive as I rotate it. Uh, it's a very quick, actually one of the faster rotating times uh, that I've seen on an Android device. Interestingly enough, it comes shipped and sort of already loaded on here with an active applications widget that sort of lets you manage uh, your programs. All right, so now let's go ahead and hook this thing up to Wi-Fi and see how Flash works. All right, so we are hooked up to Wi-Fi. I went to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash john 4 lakers You can see that Flash is actually really smooth here. Uh, that video is playing really well. Go ahead and let it play for a second. This is really the first time I've seen Flash on a mobile device, at least playing a YouTube video uh, that isn't jumpy, that really just works very smoothly. So uh, hats off to Samsung. You go ahead and uh, double tap to zoom in and out. And uh, does work. It's actually working out pretty decently. So I know the big question everybody wants to see, at least I wanted to see, were two things, keyboard and Hulu. So I'll show you both of those real quickly. So first, let me go ahead and tap the address bar here. This is the keyboard, looks very iPhone-ish, and of course when you rotate it, you go ahead and get a uh, landscape version, and I'll be doing a sort of full, thorough walkthrough on what this is going to look like in a keyboard and such, but let's just take a real quick look at Hulu, since I'm curious if it plays, uh, I assume that you guys are as well. Let's go ahead and delete all this, and let's try Hulu. And uh, see if this works. We have not really seen Hulu working on uh, any sort of a phone. Let's go ahead and watch your favorite anytime and see if this uh, see if this works. And we'll figure it out together uh, live on video. At least live for me, you're watching this at another time. Uh, browser is very snappy here on the Galaxy Tab. It's sort of typical Android, it works well. Pinch to zoom works very well as well. So hello, we noticed that you are trying to access. It's currently not available, working hard to support it. Let's continue to browse. All right, so I guess I'd probably take care of that question. Uh, let's go ahead and see if it will let us play anything. So here's a clip from, oh, whatever's loading here, Huluween. Let's go ahead and see if that will let us play. Although it does not look promising. So 
So it does look like a no dice here uh, for Hulu playing. Uh, the content didn't start. Let's just double check and try clicking one other video uh, to see if we get something to, uh, to come up here. Of course, again, I'll be doing a full uh, sort of overview of the OS, showing you how the browser worked and showing you the nuances of it. This is just a, a first look and the first power on. I was really excited to see what it looked like. I thought maybe you guys might be as well. Well, actually looks like content is loading here. Let's see if it plays. Still loading. We may actually have uh, full Hulu support here on the Galaxy Tab. Get the setting controls just popped up on the right. Still loading. No! Oh, that was such a tease. Video is currently unavailable. We apologize for inconvenience. So there is no Hulu support here, unfortunately. And it does let you know, again, that you've got one application running. So if anything that you guys want to see in particular, leave the comments down below. This is just a first look. There'll be a plenty of uh, Galaxy Tab coverage coming up, uh, including a versus with the iPad. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.